Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to change the CID number of your HTC One M8 or M7 to a Super CID number. As you know, CID stands for Carrier Identification Number and normally when you try to install a custom ROM, it performs a CID check on your phone to see if it is compatible with your phone. If it is not compatible, you cannot install that ROM. Now if you have a Super CID number, all CID checks are bypassed, allowing you to install any ROM from any carrier to be installed on your Super CID phone. To change the CID number to Super CID, you are required to have S off. See the description below to get any instructions on how to gain S off on your HTC One M8 or M7. Uh, so let's dive in. First of all, let's go grab all the required files. All right, so head on over to my website post. Uh, for which I will leave a link in the description below and once you're there just uh, scroll down to where it says requirements and uh, just click this fastboot and ADB download link this is going to download a zipped fastboot and ADB folder which is a small file and I also want you to scroll down and make sure you read this important uh, note Super CID blocks OTA updates. So anytime you want to get OTA updates, you must change your CID number back to your original CID number for your carrier. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video as well. So uh, let's uh, go and change the CID number to Super CID number really quick. All right. So once you have downloaded that fastboot zip file, just extract it to the folder and go into the folder. Keep digging in until you see these files. Let's, let me just put this on the corner. So then um, sh press and hold shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse and choose open command window here. And I just want to make sure that you guys actually enable the USB debugging on your phone under the developer options menu. So make sure you enable USB debugging for this procedure to work. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is you want to send the phone to the fast boot mode. So what you want to do is you want to type in ADB reboot boot loader. This is going to send your phone into the fast boot mode. As you can see, the phone is restarting. And now we're in fast boot mode. And over here, the first thing I want you to do is find out what your CID number in fact is and write it down somewhere, just in case you need to revert back later. So uh, let's uh, take a look at that. Fast boot OEM read CID press enter it's gonna show you what your current CID number is right on the top alrighty and you can also see the CID number on the phone itself in fast boot mode if you look on the top uh, left alrighty so this is just another way to take a look at it you can look at the phone if you want now let's change this CID number to super CID number you wanna type in fast boot OEM write CID and then you put in 8 ones that's the super CID code press enter now you have the super CID and let's uh, take a look at that real quick with the read CID command we in fact have a super CID number and remember if you ever need to change this back to get the OTA updates all you do is you write you write down this code fast boot OEM write CID and then put in your existing CID number for your carrier and that's as easy as it is alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.